What do you mean by space vector modulation? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask you guys the obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term space vector modulation? Well, let's find out. Space vector modulation is a technique that is used in three phase inverters. It is a special technique that is used for the purpose of switching each of these particular transistors that is the upper three transistors in the case of a three phase inverter that is why we use space vector modulation so here let us take a single phase of a three phase inverter it would look somewhat like this it will have two switches where each switch is a power transistor in the case here it is an SCR an SCR is basically a semiconductor device which has got a third terminal here, when a triggering pulse is given to this particular terminal, this switch starts conducting and therefore we can say that that switch is in the on condition. So that is why we use an SCR here. So here we have two SCRs, say S1 and S2. So here in the case of space vector modulation, there are two main conditions. So in the case of condition zero, it means that this switch is on and this switch is off. That is condition 0 and in the case of condition 1, we say that this switch is on and this switch is off. This is the case for condition 1. So therefore, these are the two conditions that we would be using in the case of space vector modulation. So let us now apply these conditions onto a three phase inverter. Let's see. So initially, all the three phases will be in the zero condition. That is the downside switches will be on. So if just the downside switches are on, then the circuit cannot complete because the upside switches are not conducting. So therefore, this particular capacitor cannot discharge current onto these particular loads and therefore what we have to do here is that either one of the top switches must be turned on so for that let us first take this particular phase and now here we know that since all the three phases are in the zero condition it means that in all the three phases the downside switch these three switches are on and these three switches are off so now if I change this particular condition from 0 to 1, what we observe is that in this particular phase, it gets inverted. That is now switch T1 is on and T4 is off. So we will get something like this. So here this is on, this is off, this is off, this is on, this is off, this is on. So what we observe here is that as this capacitor starts discharging a DC voltage, this particular DC voltage goes through this particular switch and since this switch is off, it won't go here. So it will go through this particular line like this and it would reach the particular load over here. But once this load, once that particular DC voltage reaches here like this, what we observe is that now switches T6 and T2 are on. So therefore, this particular voltage would get divided and it would complete the circuit like this. And therefore, this particular voltage gets divided like this. So from this, what we observe is that a particular voltage divider circuit is obtained over here. So as this is a voltage divider circuit, what we observe is that here we will have 2 by 3rd of this particular DC voltage VDC. And this VDC, this 2 by 3 VDC gets split into two equal halves, which is 1 by 3 VDC and 1 by 3 VDC. So this is what we see in the case of a voltage divider circuit. That is here 2 by 3 voltage comes here and splits into 1 by 3 VDC and 1 by 3 VDC. So now let us draw the voltage plane and represent these space vectors. So here we know that each of these phases are at a phase difference of 120 degrees. So first let us draw phase A and these phases be A, B and C. And now let us first draw phase A like this. So if this is phase A, then phase B will be at a phase difference of 120 degrees. So therefore, phase B will be at a phase difference of 120 degrees like this. And now phase C will be at a phase difference of 120 degrees with phase B. And therefore, 120 degrees like this. So therefore, this can be assumed as the voltage plane. And now drawing this particular DC voltage in this particular voltage plane, we can get the DC voltage like this. A constant circle. So this is VDC. So this is the voltage plane. So now let us see this particular condition. 1 
0 0 so in this particular condition we have 2 by 3 vdc in towards a like this that is 2 by 3 vdc like this and now we have 1 by 3 vdc in the opposite negative c direction that is if this is c c is towards this direction so therefore but this is in the negative c that is towards this particular direction we have 1 by 3 vdc and here also we have 1 by 3 vdc in the negative b direction that is if this is b direction then 1 by 3 vdc in the negative v direction so therefore on vector addition what we get is that on adding these two these two gets added over here like this and therefore we obtain a clear vdc over here and therefore adding all these points together we get the resultant space vector as simple as that guys as simple as that there is nothing more to it so this is the case 1 0 0 so then next case let us take that this particular 0 is also changed to 1 let us take this particular face is also turned to 1 so if this particular face is also turned to 1 then this which would be on and this which be off so in this case what we observe is that these two switches are on and these two switches are off but in this phase it is the entire inverse that is this which is off and this switch is on so now what we observe here is that this particular dc voltage starts getting discharged and now it passes through here and once it passes through here what we observe is that it goes through here and it reaches here this particular load and now but this dc voltage this which is also on and therefore this also goes through here it goes through here it goes through here that is two voltage dc voltages come like this and it combines together and it flows through here and it completes the circuit through this particular switch this is also a voltage divider circuit where each of these loads would have a voltage of 1 by 3 vdc and here it would have a voltage of 2 by 3 vdc so therefore now let us plot this in the voltage plane so we have 2 by 3 vdc in the negative c direction that is if this is c we have 2 by 3 vdc in the negative c direction like this and now we have 1 by 3 vdc in the positive a direction which is here and we have 1 by 3 vdc in the positive b direction which is here and now adding the three particular voltage pointers we get vdc like this so this is the case for 110 as simple as that guys so therefore like this we can find the space vector for each of these conditions that is like 1101010111 like that as simple as that and this is the basic process of what we refer to as space vector modulation as simple as that guys so here this particular voltage plane is divided into six sectors sector 1 sector 2 sector 3 sector 4 sector 5 and sector 6 so now let me see it another condition over here let us assume the condition where all these points were zero that is all these points were zero so therefore as all these points were zero all these switches were off and only these switches were on so in such kind of a case what we observe here is that there is no voltage across these particular loads that is it is zero 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 and therefore the space vector is somewhat like this it is at the origin we don't get anything it is just at the origin we get it as zero 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 a point at the origin that is what happens in the case of zero zero and zero so now I've tabulated the switching state and the corresponding sectors. So these are the various switching states and the corresponding sectors they can belong to. We can calculate these sectors just like what we've seen in the previous case. So as simple as that guys. So guys, this thus sums up what you refer to as space vector modulation. As simple as that, there's nothing more to it. It's just a switching technique for the upper three transistors of a three phase inverter as simple as that so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as space vector modulation and we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you